I don't want to keep this video going on for too long, but I'll just say that I really enjoyed this episode, not because there was a whole lot of action in it, but because it just shows off more and more every time that Endeavor is on screen and they have character development with him and they just do stuff with him. They, they continue to prove just how much of a great character he is and why any criticism I saw towards his character was really dumb because before like i've seen i think i've said this before but just back then you know before people would complain about his character because oh he abused his family he does this and that and blah 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 and it's like yeah well the whole point of his character growth and his journey as a character is for him to realize that hey he was kind of an insensitive asshole who abused his family and was really petty towards all might for some fucking reason and wanted his son to be able to overthrow him as the number one hero and now that endeavor is the number one hero what does he have after that point and what is he going to do from here on out well he's going to take the spot and you know be a leader for all the heroes in the hero society to move forward with the world, but also atone for the mistakes that he's made in the past, realize that, hey, he was a really bad person, and that maybe he should try to figure out some ways to be able to reconnect with his family in some way, and right the mistakes of the past. That's the whole point of his character journey, and you see more of that within, within this episode. Of course, you see some action as well, where uh, Natsuo, uh, Endeavor's son, actually gets taken by a villain that was uh, overly obsessed with Endeavor and wanted Endeavor to kill him. So he kidnapped his son, so that way Endeavor is essentially forced to have to uh, murder him. Uh, not his son, but the villain, uh, which I think his name was Ending, I think he said what it was, which whatever. Uh, this quirk doesn't really matter, he just uses white paint on like the surfaces of like the roads or whatever. They were explaining what his quirk was in the episode, but I kind of forgot what it does, but it doesn't really matter because the whole point of it was to show that Bakugo, Midoriya, and Todoroki all have gotten better and better progressively as the days went on by. And Todoroki captures the villain, Bakugo saves uh, Natsuo, and Midoriya actually uses his, I think, Black Whip? I think that's what they called it in a few episodes back. I don't remember the actual like, name for it, but that might be it. Uh, he actually ended up using a more controlled version of it and not like a super short version of it to be able to capture three cars that were set up in the air and softly land them onto the ground, which shows his improvement for him being able to actually use a different quirk and a tight-knit situation that allowed him to be able to save the lives of people who were in danger. And it just it showed the improvement of the three of them and... They were finally able to do what Endeavor wanted them to do, which was to stop a villain before he was able to do so. So now that the three of them were able to do it, now they can go back with the teachings that they made, or the teachings that they were taught, and go back to school with them and improve upon those things. And eventually, whenever time is necessary, they're going to have to use those skills again and etc etc it all builds up towards one another on top of each other and i think it's great that we actually got to see these characters do stuff but then we go back to endeavor with his son natsu and you just see that he wants to really connect back with his son and fix the mistakes but obviously natsu is, is really angry with his dad because of the stuff that he was doing he felt like that he was shunning his family because his brother Toyo was actually telling him that that's basically what he was doing and it's it's said in the episode that yeah Natsu basically just thinks that Endeavor was the one that you know killed Toyo his brother because they were very close with one another and of course it's not explicitly explained but it's pretty evidently obvious to the audience watching but yeah Dobby and Toya are actually the same person and that's why they or he thinks that Toya is dead because he doesn't basically exist anymore because he's just an entirely different person from what they knew him as but by the end it's then they then reconnect with one another and Endeavor comes up with an idea of what he needs to do for his family and for their safety and for the betterment of they themselves and he thinks that it's better off for the family to live in an entirely separate house and location and for him to stay behind because he feels that they would be much safer and 
everything would be better if he just wasn't around nearly, nearly as often, which is a very hard thing to do for anybody, but Endeavor now has to do that in order for his wife, daughter, and two sons to be able to actually have a proper family with one another and be happy and enjoy those pieces of life, even if he doesn't have to be there anymore. So, yeah, it just it further solidifies why Endeavor is a great character and why any criticism towards him is mostly dumb, depending on what certain people are saying, which most of the time it's just depending on the stuff that he did before in the past and him being an asshole, but he's not like that anymore. I think he's a great character and I love seeing things about him. I said this last week, actually. Uh, I think it never is a great character and seeing more of him and seeing his character growth with his family is some of the best things that this show can do. And seeing more of it is always great, but that's not the main focus. And I'm wanting to go back to what the main focus is obviously supposed to be. Which, who knows what it actually even is anymore, but whatever. I don't really know what to think about for the previews. It sort of seems like that they're going to go talk to Kurogiri, which was the fucking black hole dude that was able to teleport from one location to another. And now it's like he's going to reveal some secret, which I'm going to go ahead and just make an, a guesstimate and say that there's somehow going to be a traitor within the school and that they have to figure out who it is. I don't fucking know. I don't think it even really matters if it's going to amount to anything. It probably will. I'm just being a fucking idiot about it. I don't know. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say about the episode. I really liked it. It didn't really need to do anything special, but for what it did do, I actually really did like it. I enjoyed it for what it was worth. And I think that's all that really matters when it comes to certain parts of my academia as an entire show. So anyways, <laughs> that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next one. Have a fantastic day. I'm out. Peace.